We all hope to make good financial decisions in our lives. Many of us have even studied some finance courses. What's often missing is how we can apply these financial tools on a practical basis. Excel is a powerful financial tool which can help you put into practice principles of finance by analyzing the data for you, allowing you to make good financial decisions. In this course, you're going to learn how to put the principles of finance into use through an easy to use, inexpensive, and powerful tool, Excel. In this course, you'll learn how to create and use net present value and internal rate of return calculations, create and use future value, present value, and schedules, analyze a potential investment, find the break even point of prospective investments, use a scenario manager to analyze what will happen across several different scenarios, create integrated budgets based upon a series of assumptions, create pro forma financial statements from your budgets, create and analyze financial ratios, and create different scenarios. In this first lesson, we're going to analyze the best return between two locations. This is important because we'll often be faced with several potential investments, but we need to choose one. In the first part of this lesson, we'll show you how to do a quick and dirty analysis. Later on, we'll show you how to do a more in-depth analysis considering a variety of factors. We'll start by showing you how to calculate the net present value, NPV, which is the value of future payments today, as well as the internal rate of return, IRR, which is a percentage return on our investment. What is the NPV? The net present value, or NPV, is the current value of our investment, taking into consideration the time value of money, set by our discount rate. If the number is positive, it means the return is greater than the discount rate, or the percentage return you need for the investment to be worth making. The higher the number, the better the return. The calculation will quickly show you if an investment has the potential to be worthwhile. In Excel, the net present value function looks like equals NPV rate value 1, value 2, value 3, where rate is the annual discount rate and value 1, value 2, value 3 are the individual period incomes. So type the rate is 1% in cell B2, value 1 in cell B6 is 25,000, value 2 in cell B7 is 25,000, and so on. We can type the original investment of 150,000, notice it's a negative, into cell B5. We'll calculate the NPV in cell B16. So type equals NPV dollar sign B dollar sign 2 comma B6 through B15 plus B5 and press enter. The dollar symbol before the column letter and row number means it's an absolute reference. When we drag it to a new column, the reference won't change. This is why we use it in the discount rate, because it's the same for Boston as for San Francisco. The initial investment and payments are not. We add the negative of our initial investment at the end of the formula in order to get the difference between our initial investment and the present value of the payments. Press the Enter key to enter the formula. This should give you the net present value as $3,614.18. A positive number means the value of the payments is higher than your discount rate. It's a good investment. Since we used absolute referencing on the discount rate, the dollar symbol before the column letter and row number, we can simply drag the corner of the formula to cell C16 to calculate the NPV for San Francisco. When a cell is selected, you can press the F2 key to visually see the formula. Press the F2 key. Now we can see that the formula is correct. Press the Enter key. Since the value NPV is negative, this means we should probably not make the investment. Another frequent tool to analyze whether or not to make the investment is IRR, Internal Rate of Return. Select cell A17. IRR, or Internal Rate of Return, is a return you're getting on the project. If it's higher than your discount rate, it's likely to be a good investment. The formula for IRR is IRR parentheses range of investment plus future payments and parentheses. We've already entered in equals IRR, so select the range of investments plus the future payments.
Press the Enter key to enter our formula, then we'll drag the formula to San Francisco like we did with NPV. Notice we can do this because we're using relative referencing. If we were using absolute referencing, the references would not change when we drag the formula over. The percentages are too rounded. Let's make them accurate to two decimal points. Click the Increase Decimal button twice. Now these percentages make much more sense. The IRR for Boston is slightly higher than the discount rate, meaning it could be a good investment, while the IRR for San Francisco is below the discount rate, making it an inadequate investment.